Here we go now on this Paul W match, our first look at Hong Kong, who are taking on Singapore here at the Tiantai Stadium in Qingdao. Two-day tournament, part of a three-leg series, just two for the women in this year, the Asian Rugby 7 Series. And Hong Kong, Dai, freshly also back from Ireland uh, with, the, with the plate win over there. What do we expect? What do we know about this Hong Kong team? Well, Anna Richards, the coach, is, um, is experimenting a little bit, or not experimenting, but looking to increase the pool of players uh, as she builds towards the Olympic qualifier doubleheader uh, in November. So got a couple of girls returning after a long period out with shoulder injuries, Steph Gavaria and, uh, and Colleen, um, both having their first out in. Um, for, for many months, many months indeed. Uh, Steph, I don't think, has played for a good 12 months, but experienced players, and it'd be great to see those back on the park. But uh, very, some young, young guys coming in as well. Here we go then, Hong Kong with the kickoff. there. And an early attempt at a kick through has not paid off. Bit of a dusty old kick. Hong Kong's first chance with the ball now. As we've seen a lot of little slight handling errors in his first few games. A little bit a little bit drizzly, a little bit moist out there. 85% humidity. Here goes Steph. Stephanie with her first game back after two years. It's the captain, Christy Ching, now rumbling it up. Singaporeans holding on. Great ball going wide to Aggie Poon. And lovely little break by Aggie Poon for the first score for Hong Kong. Adding the two points to a own try, so a great start for, for Hong Kong. Turn over ball and uh, settle the nerves a little bit in this first game. For these two sides, Hong Kong versus Singapore, third game of the day. The Asian first tournament of the season for the Asian Seven Series. Problem and here we go again. Very good kickoff, good depth, good height, and made it easy to challenge there. And uh, Singapore having to take that under a lot of pressure and forcing the knock on. Good restart. Critical area of the game in the women's game. Uh, those um, kickers uh, are rare. It's not a disparaging comment but uh, something that Anna Richards has worked hard on with the Hong Kong girls and paying dividends there after the first uh, kick off, first kick off for, for Hong Kong. Here we go swinging it wide a clean hook on the scrum
Great tidy network there by uh, Natasha Olsen. Fantastic work by her, powering through. And already early in this game, Steph Coveria, um, looking prominent, handling the ball a lot, and a great try into the post for. Powerful centre, Natasha Olsen. Aggie Poon now is the conversion from straight in front, and after just four minutes, it's 14 Hong Kong to Singapore's nil. Let's have a look at this kickoff technique. Colleen Schofold. That's another good one. It's gone the 10. Singapore have let it bounce, thinking it might not. Needed to take that. And here we come again. It's Aggie Poon on the wing. Does she have the gas? She's too quick. Christabel Lim. And 15 seconds from kickoff to try. Singapore guilty probably of just letting that bounce. They needed to take that. And the results, you've been punished very quickly. It's 19 nil. Uh, what a great pass from Colleen. Shot Chosvold in the in the centre there, fantastic. 15 metre pass to give Aggie Poon an ex uh, Asian Games sprinter for Hong Kong. Any kind of space out wide, and she's certainly going to finish those tries off. So what a lovely! It's great to see the two girls back after some time out of the, the Hong Kong jersey and already having a prominent effect on on this uh, this game. Both Stephanie and, and Colleen. Did she? Uh, you saying the, the Olympics, the Beijing Olympics? I think. Um, she uh, competed in the Asian Games uh, for Hong Kong. Now, uh, just cr just outside the squad for the Beijing Olympics, uh, Aggie, that uh, has run for Hong Kong in the sprints at, at Asian Games, certainly 2010. And uh, luckily for the rugby fraternity, we pinched her off the SA athletic Athletics Programme. Okay. Uh, always good to have someone with gas, isn't it? Yeah, another critical area of film as well. Fantastic by uh, Natasha Olsen then powering through. Here comes Eggy. Oh, it's gone slightly behind her. Oh, no bother. She's made something out of it. Singapore defenders, they're just looking at their hands. How did she get through? And she's in for a very quick hat trick in the first half of this game. And it's Hong Kong 24. Singapore nil. I think as well, Boos, um, certainly Hong Kong's experience of playing against uh, teams from outside Asia is already um, showing through here the extra power, the extra pressure they've been placed under in Dublin. A great initiative at the end of last season, but uh, this, this group of girls did particularly well in the Hong Kong Sevens. Their best result ever, one, one win away from appearing in the, in the final in the stadium. So. It's, it's great to see that it's um, it's evident now coming back into Asia against uh, the likes of Singapore. Yeah. Another good kickoff. Singapore taking it cleanly this time. See what they can do with the ball now. Not afraid to take it forward. Good pressure from Hong Kong coming through. Bounces back into the arms of Samantha Teo. And they're recycling quite well here under enormous defensive pressure from Hong Kong. She looks isolated on this occasion though, and referee penalising Lo Yuhoi. And Hong Kong have another chance now. And surprise, surprise, try number four. In just seven minutes, Aggie Poon, sensational start for Hong Kong and for Aggie. Great work again back at the contact area by uh, the unsung hero often is Chrissy Chung, captain. Fantastic turnover, um, creating the penalty situation with a fantastic jackal. And often those those skills and those those qualities in a side go 
go missing when you've got the likes of Aggie Poon scoring four tries in a game, but uh, it's yeah, important to acknowledge that graft and that hard work. She still has the legs to uh, give that a good nudge towards the post, just falling short. You could forgive her there. And at half time, Hong Kong out with a very big lead over Singapore. With five tries to nil. How did uh, Aggie go in Ireland, Di? Yeah, it was a, it was a, a tough old tournament for the girls. You, you, you play in Asia. Um, of course, they went to sunny Dublin, where it was drizzle, cold. <laughs> um, had a big influence, actually, the weather and the conditions over the result, I think, that we got uh, against China, beating a quality China team, 14-12, um, in, the, in, the, in the quarterfinal, the semi-final of the plate. Um, but our girls reacted well to it and uh, dug deep. But um, Aggie, uh, as we step up, and this is the, the critical area of women's rugby, that we have two or three powerful girls, speedy girls, you know, ex, ex uh, I said Asian game sprinters, but how you find then the Englands, the, uh, the top quality teams, uh, the New Zealands of this world, and, you know, they've got pace and power eight nine girls in the squad um, and, and that's where we start to struggle so they're able to close Aggie's space down a lot easier and uh, and certainly though it's encouraging today to see the girls coming back and uh, certainly the Hong Kong team are doing that at the moment at Singapore and as I say day two will be very interesting top four or five teams in Asia now um, it'll be a really competitive competition at the top end of the table some substitutions made by coach Anna Richards three that I can see Immediately at half time, Aggie coming off, having secured uh, the top try scoring spot, I think, in the, in the opening uh, couple of games of this tournament. Looks like Captain Christy Cheng's off as well. And Hong Kong starting where they left off. A little bit of a knock on there. Let's play an advantage. Can Singapore do something here? Referee says no. Let's come back here for a knock on. Amelie Sua coming on for Chrissy Chang up in the, the front row. Another experienced Valley player. Who was smiling coming through the airport at, uh, on her first trip with a new SAR passport. <laughs> a native of France via the Valley yeah. Rugby Club in Hong Kong. Now sp sporting a... Valley France. <laughs> if Singapore can get this ball back, see if they can muster something up. Why Shum Sham coming on at scrum half. Dummy half for Hong Kong as well at half time. Hong Kong with the tight hit and the arm went out for the advantage here. And I was just going to mention that, but worth a mention on his first the first tournament, what a fantastic way to start your first tournament in the international senior jersey. And that's Ka Yang Chung in her first tournament, a young up and coming star, hopefully, from that uh, Hong Kong rugby, 19 years of age. Very good wheels out there. Yeah, I was talking to Anna Richards and asked about her development and that. We've just seen exactly the reason that Anna's brought her along as a young player. She's got wheels, she's got gas, and, uh, and Anna wanted to be, uh, expose her to this level of competition as an option as we move towards the Olympic qualifiers. So fantastic start in her first senior tournament. So it's Hong Kong 34, Singapore nil, just under five minutes remaining here in game four of today. No longer kick this time. It's uncontestable. Going off her feet there. There's Kong Sao Yan. Break down there, gives, gifting the ball back to Hong Kong. And it's number nine, Stephanie Cavalier, after two years of absence through 
a string of shoulder injuries. I spoke to her this morning in the hotel. She's very excited to be back out here today. And she'll be loving that. Dotting down under the post there for try number seven. Hong Kong, just under four minutes remaining. Putting down a marker, Hong Kong here in this first game. Kick has missed, so it remains 39. No, it was over, sorry, 41 nil. Sorts of trouble for the Singaporeans. This time, it's been knocked forward by the Hong Kong chasers. Oh. Yeah, Eunice Chu feeds the ball in for Singapore, but the Hong Kong's just walked right over it. Time that well. Here goes Emily Sear. Barraging forward. Digging in for her to Sham Wai Sum. Another charge down kick, but another fortune which has bounced back for Hong Kong. Nam Khan Man feeds it out. And she is. She's a dancer. <laughs> Look at this. She's only small, she's dragging <laughs> four players with her. There must be some space after that. So you're reaping the benefits there of all the hard work from the youngster Chong Ka Yan beating half the side and dragging the other half with her. Uh, looks like Hong Kong's got a rival for Yamaguchi from Japan. We saw scoring uh, a couple of tries in the uh, game earlier. Could be a good showdown later on tomorrow. It kicks away as well. So it's 46 to Hong Kong and Singapore nil. With just a minute and a half remaining. match a little bit out of Singapore's league but they'll also have a tough match against China a bit later today and then uh, Sri Lanka tomorrow a tough old tournament now um, to chop ball this time she's Luckily for Singapore, has not managed to hold on to that one. Singapore know, knows what's coming here. They know as soon as that ball leaves the scrum house hand that uh, Hong Kong are going to put the shove on. You can see from the technique there, Hong Kong very well set for that scrum. And back goes Teo. She rescues them. A little dart from Chan Jiao Yu. Singapore trying to come away with a little bit of respect here at the end. Let's hope they can put something together. This Hong Kong defense is very efficient. Chua going to ground. It comes back. Chiefly player there. Stephanie Gouvalier coming up with a brace, which is double happiness for her and for Hong Kong. And... That takes it out to 51 with a kick to come. A very big score here in their first match. They look pretty sharp. Yeah, great start for Hong Kong. 